Oh, this would be a shame, Shaj. Oh, that's pretty close. A new rows of books. What's down here? What'd be at the bottom of this? Just a stack. <sighs> Couple stacks, just like tuck them in. Tuck them in good night. Ah, I knew that might be problematic. A little bit smaller, a little bit higher. Um, Change some colors on them. Blue book, blue book. Leave that one. Sometimes when you have a map filled with everything to the bridges, it's like you find yourself struggling just to find a place to click to deselect everything. I wonder if there's a deselect. No, there's not. Um, let's do a two by hangout. I'll do it so for times two. Cocked out. I feel like this is like a lo-fi remix of like uh, Eminem. <laughs> What's that one song? <laughs> Where he's like really sad. Dear Slim. I wrote you this letter the other day. The coffee table snipe. Down, down, down. Yeah. Yeah, down, down, down. Gonna do just a water tray on this one, girl. Or maybe we'll put a pipe down. Cause this person likes to read and get stoned, yeah. I don't know. Maybe they just like drinking some water. Trey. This one. Oh, that is a legitimate teapot and a nice one at that. I want to use that somewhere. Oh, pitcher. This one's like an extra large pitcher for water. Leave the. Um, yeah, maybe it is like, yeah, let's just do this. Undo. Just get the color right. That one. And just like people, like mad people, just be in here reading. 
this is the vibe void spot here but I need a chair there always try to put the chair in, in its own manner straight crooked some a little bit more crooked than others some just like completely pulled out I did go with the darker of the two. I gotta remember that. Or I'll go through and to make sure those are all lights. Camera action viber. Should there be one on each of these chairs? One in this corner. Perfect. Gorgeous. Let's make the desk. Oh, son has left us. I am now alone. Let's go throw in these where I know I'll need them. Um, scrolls, papers, books. Lots of papers. Yeah, yeah, lots of papers are going to be like shoved up in the corner here. Oh, an even shorter stack, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Book scrolls. More books. Um, I don't know what I need or want here. Utility. A couple books. Do I have a candle down anywhere? No, I'm, I'm at lanterns, but this person might have a candle. No, no, that's fine. This very important scroll, like up here. I like this better than that. Uh, yeah, timepiece, possibly. I have this clock and nowhere to put it. Uh... 
Um, the alchemist tools, an instrument. Ooh, a bird stand, yes. There's just a bird. Um, let's put a tray and just like some snacks. Some cheese that's been gotten into. Some bread, uh, it's been gotten into, um, uh, and a knife, knife, knife. Slide it in there. Got some bread and some cheese. I feel like I need something here. I feel like it's not going to be in the farming section, that's for sure. <laughs> it's like a big cross or something. An enchanted harp. Yes, that's like the one I was looking for like one big thing. And now the teacher just like turns around and just like strums the harp and then it just plays music indefinitely while everybody in here kind of just reads and hangs out with, this, with teach as they uh, grade papers and write. Okay. Um, think of a random theme, Meech. Think of a random theme, Meech. Maybe bookshelves on either side of the dory. Big dish. That might work. Um, Um, let's see, what's going on in this room? Maybe just like a table? Don't know, Scott. This is what I was feeling. I know this is going to be really big. Maybe we just like chop it. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Uh. 
question is, is what are they doing in here? Don't know now. Ooh, I like this microscope here. Maybe it's like a little science room, maybe. And like, what are they microscoping in here? Guess, yeah, maybe some bottles and some potions and some shells. A uh, cupboard. <clears throat> I want this here. <clears throat> maybe a really big one. Dun, dun, dun. Itchy back, yo. Uh, we don't need these cheese. Nor bread. Might leave some of those pots, though. <clears throat> Just like on the bottom. Oh, don't leave that one. I don't like how it has to flow. Lantern's gonna go there, anyways, so. Make my life easy now. The lantern, and then we go and put one in between these shelves. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I think I'll try and take give myself like a just like a five minute break here on the halfway mark. Kind of just pan up my progress. Four rooms done, just about.
All right. Back for the decoration train. Mm-hmm. All the delicious ciders have been scrumped up. Scrumped, diddly umped. Okay. We gotta do a desk here. We gotta throw some potions out. We gotta do some papers. My friend here has lots of papers for me to steal. It's like a little stack, kinda. And let's do medium small stack. Kind of just like cocked in the middle, I'll take up a lot of space. There's some stuff around it. Utility! I need all that weird stuff. I wish there was just like a weird stuff selection. You know? This thing's huge! I love it! Oh, yeah, maybe this, like, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 case. This one we want? Yeah, 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 this one. And, like, home dude just has, like, a... A pet cube. Let's leave it like such. Yeah, it's like a random pet cube. That's all. What else can they have in y'all? Some bay leaves and I'll do a pipe. Um, some books. Um, and some potions. A meat smoker, huh? Some canopic jars. Let's do like another one, just bigger. And potion. All centered, and then we'll just change the colors. Red. Just trying to fly through this as quick as I can with stuff that I know. Okay. 
say, um, oh, is there an alchemy page? I believe there is. There we go. Okay. Bags. Bags are great to throw on shelves. Oh, oh, you're back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just kind of busted out these four rooms here. I'll do a little pan out ski in a second. Um, I'm just trying to throw random stuff on shelves. As this room is like, there's like the scientist room of some sort. They got like some microscopes on a table for the students to come in. And they got, uh, Ooh. what can I put in that? Too much box. Too random. That's some books. I'll do the the book row. <laughs> okay. There you go. So you got one, two, three, four rooms. You know. <laughs> and then like we'll turn pan the camera over here, right? Now look at how fill full and like lively that looks, right? You could even um go a step further and start throwing you know like some portraits out on the walls. You know, start doing this and like filling up the castle. That's that I'll be like probably like the last thing I do, like banners and stuff like that, but how alive that looks as opposed to as opposed to like this right like every step you take in the direction of of life is just like as all that thematic you know and then i don't know i got you here lord master this is kind of just like my quick slap shot at a restricted section i don't know if i want to add more or make it even bigger Right now is what I'm worried about is space. It's tough on space right now. So my design choices are pretty limited over there. Let's push this chair all the way in nice and tight. Let's put this chair This chair, not even on the desk, like literally like over here. And this one, just like regular, like cocked on the desk. So it's like, not only are my desks in different parts of, the, of every room, in most cases, unless I've done random, 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 and then I wanna do a double because it looks good. You know, so every now and then you do a little little auto symmetry, but you know, like even the chairs, like you can just take, and it's not like it's any extra time to my build. It's just like another five seconds, not even just thoughtfulness when you place, I guess. But it just like adds that random variant to the room that makes it look real and bring it to life as much as you can. Um, book shields. Hmm. 
Yeah, honestly, like, this is just, I mean, at the end of this, it's getting a little monotonous on my end, so I might just, you know, do some some background work, late night clicking, like, when I hang out with my friends, sometimes I like to just click around as they get their shit together. It's a great way to just kill five, ten minutes. Um, who's gonna be pillow room? Somebody's gotta be pillow room. Yeah, just like mind blank right now. What to do, what to do. I can do this, let me do this while I'm being a boop on a loop. Gotta fix these pillars. Sometimes, like, I'll leave myself little secrets. Like, I left this one pillar way bigger than all the other pillars, so I know that that's the one I need to... Those are the ones I need to go and grab. And again, holding control to keep it off the grid, because these things want to snap to grid. Snap, 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 control off grid. Holding shift to auto-duplicate. Um, and, well, Lord Master, you're here. So, I've been kind of playing around, and I guess, you know, we have been continuously trying to use, you like, you have Foundry, we've been trying to connect the, the dial to Foundry and figure that whole out. Um, and with bigger maps, it tends to be a little bit more difficult sometimes, yeah. Um... And then you also have put into subject, you know, everybody's computer in the party. Um, so what I've seen is, um, I forget where it is. There's a minimize HUD button. So I can get rid of all this stuff on the outside. So you could quite literally, A, just like be your cinematic camera and be like, oh, you guys, you want, you move 10 feet this way. All right, we move your characters. Like you got to do all the handiwork yourself. Um, or maybe you could... Uh, What's that Steam thing where you screen share and allows them to use your mouse? You could also possibly do that. Um, and then you just, like, move people into rooms and such. And then if you need, you can come down and do your top down. But you just, like, use DA as your VT. You know, like, only you get to use it as the DM. But, like, you get to do all the things, you know, you get to... You know, you could even go, like, you know, cinematic view is probably really good for this, I think. As my computer blows up for cinematic view. Uh, oh. <sighs> I just want to check something in cinematic quick. as it loads but uh yeah you can um you can just be the camera of your player's perspective and just stream on discord or uh share screen in some fashion um and i think it gives you a lot more i think capabilities i think it really makes it like a lot easier access for everybody because you know this is a rendering program so it tends to eat up a lot of uh computer um so it's hard for everybody to have the computer capacity to be able to handle this program especially like i was saying if you're doing big maps so yeah, as soon as as soon as i'm allowed into cinematic mode i don't want to press any buttons because it'll yell at me and overload it you just gotta let it load it's a big map so i just won't do this frequently See? Ah, I clicked the button.
wait for the program to respond because I have not saved yet. I think I saved before I took a break, I hope. Save frequently. <laughs> Will be super sad. Uh, oh, y'all, y'all can't see what's going on on my end. The program is just not wanting to switch to cinematic view. There's too much going on. I'm just going to be patient here. I don't want to blow my stuff up. <sighs> but, uh, yeah, that's a, uh, it's, uh, talking to somebody else on the Dungeon Alchemist uh, channel. And they're, that's, they're, they're showing me how they kind of do their sessions through the cinematic view on their maps. It doesn't even sound like it's working too hard. Oh my god, dude! All this for cine mode! Come on! Oh boy. Really hope this doesn't backfire. Come on. It never takes this long. I don't know why it's taking this long. Never takes this long. Yeah, we're definitely we're pushing the bounds of of Dungeon Alchemist over here on this channel. No regrets. Yes. Oh. Yes. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, so if you were just uh, you know, you just have the party's perspective, right? And you could walk through the halls and, you know, now you're in control of the doors so nobody gets to touch doors. You control them, you walk in, you show people their options. How are they going to here? You know, you know. Um, and then when you want to go into battle mode, you can just, like, switch out into regular view and you can even very much just do, like, top-down view like I was saying um, if you're on a single story map not like this then you would get a grid that you'd be able to see so you could uh, very easily keep your players in, in grid combat you know um, and then like when it's not people's turns or like in between turns you can like always come and just like do like some some cool panoramic stuff just so people can get, like, get a shape and a feel like top of the round you can like maybe do like a like a swing shot and then switch back to top down to play you know like there's just like all these ways you could utilize this program other than its original intention to you know create it's a program to create it is a rendering program but like it's kind of just a sandbox when you turn the hud off kind of like it's just like its own little vtt almost so All right, we're saved. Um, I think that's enough for today. I'm going to cap it at those four rooms. 
just under two hours, so, uh, I mean, what, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and maybe some in-between time, we could get that done before Thursday, top story's done, I still gotta come in here, and then this is done done, this is done done once I've finalized that, so I might even just, like, step away from this, um, go start doing second story work on some of my other maps, But, let's, yeah. Hey, what's up, Ricky? Um, today I'm just, I was doing some furnishing today, so you can see the rooms on the right side here don't have any, uh, furniture in them besides my, my teacher desks that I can handcraft. Um, over here we have these four rooms that are furnished. I guess we can come in, we can check them out like this, I haven't seen them this way yet. Oh, that might be a bad idea. Blow it up! Oh, no, it's going. There we go. Pretty fast. Character view goes way faster than cinematic. So, yeah, it's just some office. Office space. Um, you know, it's like some light furnishing. Keep it theme. Keep it, you know, ooh, got a spooky teacher in here. A little scary stuff. They do little orb readings. Uh, what do we got over here? This is like the science teacher kind of... Oh, definitely got to fix that. See, this is good, good to come in at this this view. And like, this is like, I will come and fully do all this stuff. But here's my custom teacher desks with the... I just want, like, these having these drawers on them. Um, this teacher has a pet slime cube. I don't know. Just trying to just get some random funky decorations in here. This teacher has an enchanted harp. A bunch of extra books. And uh, just like some chilling area. The building is a college. Yes, it does. So all the maps that you've seen me working on this this channel um, and on my YouTube channel are all part of the same build. So it is it's a tier one D and D module, which means level one to level five. Um, the setting is called the Lyceum College, which is a college set in a ma majestical forest, um, uh, erected uh, to. Uh, help train and teach uh, young adventuring individuals to become, you know, the next adventurers or heroes of, of the day. Um, it houses all types of students from all over uh, Faerun and teaches all schools of magic, all forms of marshals, every class you can think of. Um, yeah. So this is the main campus. What we're looking at here is the main campus building. Um, and I guess the plan for this would be to finish furnishing these rooms, uh, furnish this interior here, put roofs on all of this, except for this middle building here, which is going to be a large tower that stems up another floor to the Dean's main room. Um, so there'll be one more story on this building. Um, and yeah, as you see here, like all these paths I created... These all these paths interconnect, interconnect to the other. Oh, what's on? Oh, the grid. Um, they all interconnect onto the other maps. So I have like I drew it out on my uh, like a little paper sketch graph paper. And, like planned it out. So all these maps intertwine. If you aesthetically could take each map physically, which you I guess you could. You can print these, but I think there's a max print size, so you might not be able to print these. Um, but if you were to take each map and stack them up next to each other they would all integrate and match up perfectly and be one giant map um, i do have intentions of doing top down view and making one big map like a like a, a guide map or like a um i don't know like a top topical map uh, you know you know you know what i'm saying ricky you know just like a like you scroll out and be like oh like we're here and we go here like a map of the whole college campus um uh especially uh i am saved so i can do overlays they added the new overlay system if you haven't seen this yet so we can come and we can put a frame on it and actually make it an, a legitimate map you know what i'm saying so if we took, if we were to take all the chunks of the map in this format and place them down, like I was saying, like they would all line up. There's a river that runs along this side of the map. Um, yeah, 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, this side of the map I have not ever done or touched, and I think it's we're kind of just leaving it open for, um, for like a DLC or a, like maybe just random forest encounter for the DM. I don't. We haven't really discussed it too much. It's just kind of been not needed as we're focusing on the college campus, as the campaign and everything from level one to five is going to take place on the college campus and is very much a story about the students attending and, and not just the students, but specifically the four or five students that are in this party, this adventure group, um, and, and, and what they see uh, going on. Uh, and how they react or kind of interact with uh, the things. Uh, so uh, my partner, they might be snooping around in the chat somewhere. The lore master, they are working on like the textual part of the campaign. Um, so like the teachers, their names, what classes are, who goes where, the campaign, the story, all that good stuff, the minutia of, you know, what if you're you want an extracurricular activity at school while you're doing classes, stuff like that. Um, writing out the module and, and typing it up, and I'm doing, of course, all the graphic work as you see here on my channel. Um, and kind of just like, we're really excited to get that hold the hair in place. Where are you going with that one? Um, <laughs> So yeah, well, well, I guess uh, um, <laughs> uh, the vibe we kind of want to go for here is like, I feel modules are very paper-based and have been paper-based just because of the nature of the game um, and where VTTs and everything are kind of at, but VTTs are becoming much more capable. Mm, um, there's more of them popping up. Uh, and I guess the demand for a more thematical or immersive roleplay game is also something that's on, on the, the breath with all this technology we have. So in my opinion, I feel like DA is kind of that next step to uh, what tabletops will be inevitably in the future. Um, you know, the DM can come in and make an entire map with no skill of map making. Like, I'm doing stuff custom because I like it to be special and curated for us and what we're doing. And me and my partner have big, big plans of grandeur. Okay, the hair gel that holds the stands. Okay, yeah. I, um, uh, pillars. I call those pillars is what I say. Like, the pillars of the story. Stuff that's going to hold the foundation and never move. You know, you can't get rid of these pillars, however many you need. Sometimes it's just one. Um, you know, or the, the gel that holds everything together, right? Um, so, yeah, as I was saying, you know, I feel like the future is kind of very much baked in here. A DM who's only focused on story can come in, and as I've shown you before, Ricky, the autogen room draw um, can do, I mean, arguably a better job than I do in most of my rooms. I will say some of, like, the desks don't get as intricate, as I make them, as I'm here to really shove some stuff in and curate and, and give it some theme. But, like, that's not to say, like, they don't have really good autogen on tables. Like, there's a bunch of tables that I just use for inspiration, like the bakery table. This, you know, so it's like the table gen is really good. So the rooms you get are really good, you know. And I was just talking to a DM earlier today um, before I got on stream, and they, they quite literally, uh, like, it took them... They said maybe 30 minutes and like 15 minutes of, of, of extra time to just touch it up to make a whole map and encounter for their party. Um, and then on top of that, that map is a, it's a church that they're going to be um, – one of the players is interested in obtaining a church. So the DM made them a church. They're going to fight in the church. They're going to clear it out, and then it's going to be theirs. And then they can come in and they can furnish it like I'm, I've been doing. They can add features and uh, new floors to the church and maybe a basement and a cellar, you know? So it's like, you can really do a lot with this program if you're get, getting into this like hub type concept of, uh, you know, players in, in their in their RPG world. Um, and if they want to like maybe manipulate or have the ability to change, you know, it's very cool seeing things on paper and imagining them. But when you quite literally get to build a tower like this and it spans up on your, you know, and then you get to use it and fight in it 
it's like it's like Minecraft times ten with D and D times fantasy times your brain. Like it's it's like so many freaking synapses synopsis is freaking going off. Like it's just like it's the future. It's literally the future. I'm calling it. I'm calling it, and I'm putting my finger on it. I think DA is the future. Oh, uh, 203. Oh, thanks for hopping on, uh, Ricky, but I have to go attend to my plants as it is harvest time, and it's pretty cold and rainy out there, and I don't think I want to let those plants sit out there another day, so I'm going to get to work. Um... If you want to check out the beginning of the stream, kind of just like my click and drop process of those rooms, I'll post the VOD for you uh, on my Twitch channel and on my YouTube channel. Uh, excuse me. And uh, I'll definitely be on tomorrow at uh, 1 p.m. Take it easy, Ricky.